with war games, what you want to do is add as much variation as possible within a set uh, amount of rules. So you want the rules to be there, uh, but you don't want them to be tr too rigid, right? And one of the um, most challenging things to develop sometimes is attrition. And for the Civil War Commander game system, whether you're playing a Spanish Civil War, American Civil War, what we devised is, this is a prototype map, uh, no matter what uh, amount of um, combat factor points you add into the, your dice roll, you're going to use this attrition die. And this will give you the actual score at the end. So it's a little bit unpredictable. Sure, your forces are superior in one end than the other. You might have uh, twice as many uh, Confederate points here. You might have twice as many red points. You could have like 25 and then the other side has like 15, let's just say, total points, and you get the dice for that. But then within that, you roll it together with this, and this will give you the actual roll, uh, the actual result of the battle. It could be two-thirds of those points that are rolled. It could be completely all the points that are rolled are the ones that you're going to use for damage points, uh, half, and so on. And so depending on what your roll is, uh, you roll 26. In the end, if you get half, uh, it's 13 if you get um, one third, it's nine, and so on. Spring 1864, uh, Jackson is still alive, Lee is there. Now, Hooker, Grant, Sherman, and even Pope are going to be doing an attack. Pope is going to be attacking Beauregard directly, and then these three forces here, Grant, Sherman, and Hooker, are going to attack uh, Jackson and Lee. Just out of curiosity, Hooker's commanding the Army of Virginia. Grant, naturally, uh, Potomac, but not always the case. Sherman, the Army of the Ohio. Jackson, the Army of the Potomac for the Confederates. Lee, the Army of Northern Virginia. Beauregard, the Army of the South. Um, you can see that these guys, the Union, have a lot more cavalry and a lot more artillery than the South. Anyway, we add up the points. The black number, Army of Northern Virginia, has six plus one, two, so that's three. Three times six is 18 plus Lee's number here, which is three, 18, 19, 20, 21. You add them all up with the modifiers. Let's just say the North has uh, 52 points here, and the South has actually 24. So what you would do is you take them after and you roll it, and then it's half. So the North scored 14, 21 total, and the South only scored seven because we got half. 21 means that the North scored 11, and the South scored half of seven, which is four. And that's how you use this, and it could be uh, sometimes unpredictable. Sometimes it's going to be, you know, a, a low attrition battle. Uh, sometimes the scores are really low and there is a high number here. Other times there's a very low number here and there's a high number here. Uh, other times it's extremely destructive. You could get something as much as two-thirds or even full score and then there's a high number and that's just, there's just a complete annihilation almost on both sides, although that's rarer. If Beauregard, uh, for example, is using his defensive quality here, he can use, uh, he's attached to these armies, you know, they're not attached, but they are uh, working together. That means Beauregard, uh, using, assuming that he had this quality still available, and uh, now he uses it, we take off the marker, and he's going to use the D, defense, which means no matter what, these guys are going to roll a 3 out of 3. So regardless of what their roll is here, it's always going to be the full roll, and the north because they're not using uh, a similar attack quality, um, they would be still using this to see what would happen. This basically makes the defense a lot more uh, powerful, which is very comes in very handy here where they're completely outnumbered. I like to not just do the rules, but explain uh, the rationale behind them. There's all kinds of reasons. I mean, they, they could be fighting in a situation where this is a a big area here, right? So maybe the battle took place over here in this area. Maybe it took place, a, a, uh, you know, closer to the center here, maybe closer to the hills. Uh, we do have modifiers for all that, but regardless, 
uh, this sort of represents the unpredictability. You're the commander in chief, so to speak, and you are ordering these guys to fight, either to attack or defend. But these guys are going to do their thing, and depending on their choices, this adds a little bit of that X factor uh, that has to do with terrain, weather, uh, and the commander choices.